Coming up, we're going to take a look at an English vocabulary app that is making over $100,000 a month and why it's a great example that if you're trying to copy an app idea, you have to put a clever twist to it. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve Pyong, founder of AppMasters.com, the app marketing agency that's going to help you grow your app downloads and your revenues faster, better, and a lot cheaper than anywhere else that you can find. In today's video, I really want to show you this app that we found called Vocabulary. Now, it ranks really well for vocabulary, which is a good keyword in the app stores. And it's actually made by the same company that has a motivation app that a lot of people know about as well. But this is a great app. You can learn new vocabulary words every single day you want and does push notifications really well. And so I've worked with a lot of different types of motivation apps. I made one myself. Here it is. But I love this app because I'm going to break down why I feel like these guys, Monkey Taps, did a great job of taking a app template, right? A piece of code and reframing it for motivation affirmation, jokes. I don't know how well that idea, that app is doing, but also vocabulary. So it really speaks volume that if you're thinking about reskinning, because I work with so many types of apps like this one, this motivation app, because of the video that I created, everybody's like, hey, let's do it, right? Guilty. I did it too. But instead of going after motiva motivation, could you go after a different keyword that nobody's paying attention to that is a pretty good market? And then pretty much take the learnings of that motivation app and put it into vocabulary. All right, now let's get into the app itself. So here's the app, vocabulary. This is all data from Sensor Tower that you can see. So monthly downloads about 200,000. They are advertising. So they're getting great organic traffic, but they are advertising, making about $100,000 a month. And here's how much they're charging. So they've got a lifetime, which you don't normally see till later on. They got the monthly and then the yearly as well. They got their ATT, which is best practice. It wants... I've seen a couple of different apps do this, but you want to show this as the very first thing that users see. So just make sure you ask right away. Expand your vocabulary. Really great. Learn words with daily reminders. So that's great too. All this app does is send you and push notifications of a new word so that you can learn and expand your vocabulary. Okay. Add a widget to your home screen. Cool. They're telling me how to do that. What's your vocabulary level? Learn something new. So what do you want to explore? Tell us why you're here. So it's this best practice of asking people why they're here, you know, what they want to learn. This type of engagement leads to higher conversions. And also it's great for you as a developer to know why your users are here for your app too. So it's a win-win on all parties. Now, I really like this. Now, I have no data to support this, but which icon do you like the most? This app allows you to customize your app icon and they're doing it during the onboarding. So I don't know if it's working well, but I do like the customization because you now like maybe more people are more likely going to stick with the app by because they're customizing it as well. So I don't know if there's some psychological triggers here, but that's what my guess is. Same with here. I can pick the different themes. So instead of just saying, you know, showing me a paywall, which most apps would do, they're allowing me to customize it during the onboarding process. And then they hit me with the paywall. So you can see it's $29.99 a year, three days for free and then hit continue. Now I do have some anecdotal data now, or some pretty good data actually, that I think that what they should be doing is showing the monthly and yearly plan side by side, because I do think that people want options and most people will buy the yearly. So what I've been suggesting to most people is that the yearly should have the trial because it does increase conversions and the monthly should not have a trial. And most people will end up buying the yearly because it has the trial. Okay. Add a word externally. You can do that. And then here is the main screen of the app. As you can see, one word, simple, very similar to the motivation app. That's extremely popular. So you can swipe up and you can see different words. And then the more words you like, I just kept swiping, the better the feed gets. So you can like different words here. Let's take a look at their second open. So as I'm doing competitor analysis, it's my favorite thing to do. Look at second open, look at third open, just to see if they do anything differently. Okay, so let's take a peek. So the second open, now, I don't know what happened with the app, just so you guys know, but I did see an ad. I did see something happen with some words, but I saw an ad too. So pretty interesting there. Now this is an app that I never have to actually go back into the app, meaning I just get a push notification with the daily word and the definition. So it's really cool. But then as I'm using this app and I start swiping, 
on one of the swipes, they do ask for a review. Now we have some data that says you can ask for a review during the onboarding process and it'll work. So you don't have to wait this long as vocabulary is doing. You can add it to the onboarding process and you should see a good spike in your ratings. Okay. But just ask for it. As I'm swiping some more, they then hit me with cross promotion, which I really love as well. So as I swiped up like, Hey, get daily positive affirmations download. So again, cross promote. They've got lots of downloads for this affirmations app, cross promote. It's a great way to do it, right? This is leveraging one piece of code for affirmations, for vocabulary, and for motivation as well. So here is the nature of the app. Again, push notifications. That's all they're doing. They're sending daily push notifications up to like 10 a day. You can customize it, but here are their push notifications. You can see here's the word, what the meaning, another word, the meaning. Okay. But here's the cool thing that I saw them do now. It says reminders. One day I got an, a push notification says, that says reminders ending. What? I don't think it's going to end, but that's just my guess. I have no data. Okay. But it says tap here to schedule more. So they want you to go back into the app because the nature of this app is all about push notifications. So I never have to go back into this app, right? But if I never go back into this app and I never activated a trial, they need for me to get back into the app. And so boom, I went in, I got this reminder scheduled, swipe to read more. And hey, wouldn't you know it? I got a paywall, right? So I like this strategy. I don't think this is actually true, but I do love this strategy where they kind of push it in here. And even if it's true, it's great because we have costs with push notifications, right? And so I think, but it's a great way to get people more engaged into the app. So I really love this. If you got an app where most people do not have to come back into your app, think about implementing something like that. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you can see where I'm headed with this. You can take a piece of code, do some ASO research, then reskin it, right? I did it too. Don't just see an app idea like vocabulary, be like, oh, let me just do that. The same exact thing. You got to put a clever twist to it. And that's what these guys have done. So shout out to you guys at Monkey Taps. You guys are doing an amazing job. And congratulations on all your success. All right. If you want to work with us, all you got to do is go to appmasters.com and make sure you hit subscribe and like. And if you got any questions for me, well, leave a comment below. I do read each and every single comment that I get on YouTube. And I'll create a future video if it makes sense. Or I'll just answer you in the comments as well. All right. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.